And we're back here on the Terrier Sports Network, powered by NEC Front Row. Terriers beat Albany today in double overtime by a score of one nothing on a penalty kick by the man to my right, Cyril Kwan, the man of the match today. Uh, congratulations on the goal. Uh, you got kind of a lucky break there with with the handball in the box, but a uh, hard-fought match again between between these two schools. You played them to a scoreless draw last year. What was the key today? I don't know. Uh, I think I think we came uh, we kept a really strong at the beginning. But then we got a little tired. Uh, I mean, we had a really good season so far, but it takes a lot of energy. So today we needed two other time to, to get the win, and luckily we did. So it's, it's a great result today for the team. Another penalty kick for you. That's two straight matches, and, and three out of your four goals in your career have come on penalty kicks. Is there something just about that sit situation with just between you and the goalkeeper? Uh, yeah, we, we've been practicing a lot during, uh, during practice, and uh, it's something I like. Like uh, there's a lot of tension, but I like to to stay in my own world and uh, just look at the keeper and put it on the side. And it worked uh, two, uh, three years ago. It worked again today. Maybe next one I'll kick it again. And we'll see. And we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, this team has been so balanced uh, on both sides of the ball, especially defensively, where you're only giving up one goal all season long. What's been the key to uh, be able to play that well defensively continuously throughout these first nine matches? Uh, communication is key. Uh, we we all communicate together. I tell the, the midfielder where they need to be. Midfielder needs to t um, tell the forwards. And we also a, a whole bunch of friends and brothers. That's what, that's what matters too. Um, but yeah, we, it's, it's everybody. It's not even the starters. We have, like today we saw we're all tired, but uh, the bench came out strong. And when we're all together like this, uh, not a lot of team can beat us. You've been all together pretty much all season long. I noticed you got the captain's armband now on on your uh, on your left arm. Uh, that's got to be an honor for you to replace. Uh, you know, considering Andy was the captain for the last two years and what he did, it's got to be an honor for you to be the captain this year. It's, it's a big honor. Me and me and Jack are very proud about it. Uh, last year we have Andy and Ricky did a tremendous job. So it, it's not easy to 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 have it, but when you have it, you need to do the job. Pretty, uh, so far we do we do pretty good. So let's keep it up. How about you make it three in a row with, with uh, scoring a goal uh, next yeah, match? Yeah, next Saturday, we'll see. All right, Cyril, thanks a lot for joining us here and continue luck this season, and uh, go Terriers. Thank you. That's Cyril Kwan, who scored the game-winning goal in double overtime. Terriers beat Albany 1-0. We'll be back to wrap things up after this on the Terriers Sports Network, powered by NEC Front Row. <laughs>